Hi everyone, here's Helena Alcas from apersonalorganizer.com. I am a professional organizer and I usually organize physical spaces and I help people get their homes and offices and life organized. Um, but as a small business owner, I also look for the tools that are out there that can help me get organized online uh, for my business. Uh, one of the things that are that's very time consuming in our online presence is the scheduling of social media. Um, having content getting in and out uh, several times a day in several social media platforms can be extremely time consuming, both the uh, research for the content, editing it, create, writing, finding images to go with it, and then scheduling. Uh, all this can be very time consuming if you're not smart about it. And I am one of those people that are early adopters. I really enjoy finding new tools and trying them and see how it works and what not works, what doesn't work. So uh, recently I came, I received an invitation to test Edgar. Um, Edgar is a scheduling tool and it's an awesome uh, solution for the problem of having to constantly be uploading new content. Um, so I, you will find Edgar at meetedgar.com and you will click on get your invitation right here. Okay. And, um, as soon as you uh, receive the invitation, you will start a free trial. Edgar is a pay tool. It's um, well, after the trial is finished, you'll be paying $49 a month. Um, if it's just for you, up to 10 accounts actually, but it's only one user, one login. Businesses and agencies have much higher price levels as they manage several accounts for with several social media accounts. So it's a great solution for a social media manager, for example. But let's dig in and see what's so nice about Edgar, okay? And so I am actually logged in in here. And the first thing um, you will have to do once you log in to Edgar is to connect your accounts. Okay, so this is where Edgar is not a perfect fellow yet. I wish he was. Um, but I don't have the ability to connect yet with um, Google+, YouTube, and other, or Pinterest even. Um, and that makes it, for me, an imperfect tool because I want to have one place for everything. This is a brand new tool, it's in development stages, and I'm sure they will uh, just perfect it and completely knock off uh, with this. So here you want to connect your accounts. It's a very simple process. You will click here and the symbols of the accounts, they are available and it will get you into this. And let's go back to Edgar. And then um, once you have connected your accounts, you have all the profiles you want content being delivered to, let's move down to categories. Okay. Once you're in categories, um, and you see here I have created several, I'm learning that not of, all of them are um, practical because of reasons I will explain to you once we get to the library and to the queue. But... So I will clean this up. Uh, if you want to add um, a category, you will simply scroll down to this green button on the bottom of the page, add a category. So let's, ask, uh, let's enter video for Edgar. And it will save uh, the category in alphabetical order. So you will see it right down here. Um, one important thing uh, is, okay, not yet. So you have all your categories listed here. You may edit them. Let's say you want to add it back to school. You just click on that little pencil. It will 
open this screen and you enter the new name or correct the spelling, if that's the case, and then click Save. Once you have your categories listed, uh, you come to your schedule. So uh, here you can see that I have already created schedules for my LinkedIn, for my uh, Facebook page, and for my Twitter account. Uh, and let's use Twitter as an example because that's where I enter most spots and a, a wider variety of types of posts. So I entered, I, th this is the way I created this schedule. I, um, let's use um, this one, my personal profile on Facebook because I'm not using it for um, Edgar yet. So I'm going to create a time slot here. I'll simply click on Add Time Slot and then this drop down will open and let's select the time. Let's say I want to sound at um, four in the morning and uh, I will not use random and I'll explain you very soon why. Um, but let's say I want to enter a quote and then I'll save it and there you go. If I want to enter now a second, um, if I want to have an update getting out every Monday, every day at 4 a.m., I will go to the next day and click on add time slot. That's a shortcut I kind of figure out. So now I don't want to have a quote going out because I already had that. And if my readers are um, present at 4 in the morning, uh, I don't want them to see every day the same type of content, right? So I started going down by alphabetical order. So today, on Monday, will be uh, back to school. And then the next day will be my next category, bathroom. And then I save it. And so I went populating, going through all the categories. So I created a good mix of tips. And as you can see here on Twitter, it it will eventually repeat itself. So I have bathroom here, and then I have bathroom back on the second week on a Thursday. So that creates a good mix of posts, of, of content, and it, it makes your account more interesting, okay? Um, so I told you not to use the random, um, the random category. Let's take a look at the library, and I'll explain you why. So once you created your categories, you set up the schedule with the time and content you want to go as many times a day as you want. So next we will click on library. Okay, so all your categories will be listed here on the left, right? And then um, we want to add new content. Let's say to bathroom, a bathroom tip. You select the content, the accounts you would like this content to be shown, and let's say only Twitter, and then select the category bathroom, and then um, I will write um, anything just here, just for the purpose of this um, example. I can go to my website and find, um, yeah, here, and find. Um, a tip related to bathroom. Okay, bathroom organizing, seven steps. Click that link, copy. Okay, and then um, let's go back to Edgar and then uh, add my link here. I have my bit.ly account already connected and that means my links will all be shortened. And you can even add an image by coming in here and then um, adding from your computer. You would have to upload images to your computer to add images here. Um, next you will click Save and I'm going to simply erase this and write seven tips to keep your bathroom organized. Check it here and then I can click Save. All right, 
content was successfully created and then now let's go back to the library and click on bathroom and now I have 11 tips and they are all listed right here okay and this is the one we just created now so going back to the random type of tip right that I said well don't really use that category the thing is um, for my type of business I'm a professional organizer so hang in there if you're on social media or something super technical and uh, it this all applies to your business as well um, so if you have seasonal type of uh, posts you want to share right let's say I created fall spring summer winter I have Thanksgiving I have Christmas um, I might have Easter in the future and so forth so if you use random uh, Edgar will actually uh, put on your queue tips from all your categories and that will include Christmas and maybe you'll be in the middle of the summer sharing a tip about Christmas okay so the only reason why I don't use random is because I have seasonal tips if you don't create categories with seasonal tips if you only stick to your uh, content let's say for me it would be laundry linen kitchen kids home office if I didn't have anything specific to a certain time of the year I could totally use random and uh, Edgar would create a, a queue with that for that reason I don't use random uh, use once is a category that if you create a content and um, here on add new content and you select um, use only once this will go uh, at a specific time and date that you will um, specify okay so going to the queue let's just uh, recap we connected our accounts we created categories we set the schedule what type of post what time of the day and what days of the week and then we came to the library to create content for each category and then now let's take a look at the queue and see what Edgar has in store for my social media today so for the next two weeks I have 122 uh, posts going out and um, I can see that on Tuesday I have a post on Twitter uh, going out and what post it is and the tip is there and so forth this is for my Facebook page this is for Twitter again Facebook page and so forth because I'm only using Edgar for these three channels Facebook LinkedIn and Twitter I use other tools to manage Pinterest and to manage uh, Google Plus and YouTube. Um, unfortunately, I don't have yet found a tool that will manage all these uh, profiles at a reasonable price for a small, small business owner like me. They're all on the enterprise level and they're very expensive. So there are a there's a lot of room for improvement in Edgar and but I am pretty sure they will improve because they are investing a lot in this and they want to make it very successful so I am hoping that um, these changes and improvements happen anytime soon uh, to make our life even simpler uh, I hope this tour has helped you uh, learn a bit about Edgar and how it works and, and I hope you give it a try. Um, it's a free, uh, I think it's a two week trial. And after that, then you pay the $49 if you would like to continue. Um, but the good thing is that once you create your, um, once you create your library, you just have to accumulate enough content uh, in your category in your library uh, to feed throughout the year so for example if you go to your schedule and you see that you need two posts a week about bathroom so multiply that by 8 multiply that by 12 and you will know how many tips a year you need for your social media 
So you can either hire a writer, editor to create all your social media tips based on your blog posts, or you can do it yourself on a weekend. I did it once. I tackled my whole content uh, in a full Saturday, Sunday, and I was done for the rest of the year. So that leaves only the engagement part for you to uh, work with on a daily basis rather than every week having to create recreate the wheel, so to say. Okay, if you have any questions, you can write me at Helena at apersonalorganizer.com and you can join me at my Facebook page, Helena, a personal organizer. I'll be happy to see you there and to share my organizing tips with you. Um, I'll see you soon. Until the next video. Bye-bye.